So first, why do you need heat cables? Snow comes down in Central Oregon. When those big snow events happen, we get serious snow buildup on our roofs. Ice dams form essentially when that snow builds up. We're talking usually 10 or more inches of snow or consistent cold after a good snowstorm. The snow that's pressed up against the roof of your house is getting some heat from your house. It starts melting on that bottom layer. It melts and it runs down until it hits your eave or soffit, which is not heated. It's overhanging the exterior of your house. It's gonna freeze. So when that starts building up, water will build up behind it and start flowing into your house. What heat cables do is they bridge or actually tunnel through that space between the heated part of your house and the drip edge. So this cable, we're gonna run it up in a zigzag pattern to reach into the, the area where the ice is melting and the snow is melting and out past the eave. So it's not gonna prevent snow from building up on the edge of your roof entirely. It's gonna make sure there's channels there so that ice dams don't cause any damage that way. In fact, when it comes nuking down at an inch or two an hour and we get 15 inches of it, you won't even see these, you'll just see tunnels in your snow. The next day they'll probably heat through and you'll see that zigzag pattern you've probably seen on houses around here. When you see that, those people are sleeping well at night because they don't have ice dams forming or water running down their walls. And if you have any other questions, please give Webfoot a call.